Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the medication midazolam, commonly known under its brand name, Verst. This discussion is for educational purposes only. If you have health-related questions or concerns, it's crucial to consult a medical professional. Description Midazolam, marketed as Verst, is a medication used primarily in the induction of anesthesia and for sedation before medical procedures or surgeries. Belonging to a class of drugs known as benzodiazepines, it works by depressing the central nervous system, leading to drowsiness and amnesia, making it easier for patients to undergo various medical procedures. Administered either orally, intramuscularly, or intravenously, midazolam is noted for its rapid onset and relatively short duration of action. It is also used to provide sedation for mechanically ventilated patients in the intensive care unit, ICU, and to manage seizures in an acute setting. Warnings Midazolam carries specific warnings due to its potent sedative effects. It's not suitable for individuals with a known hypersensitivity to benzodiazepines. Extreme caution should be exercised in patients with respiratory issues, such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, or in those with severe hepatic impairment, as the drug can exacerbate respiratory depression and may lead to significant alterations in pharmacokinetics. The use of midazolam in pediatric populations requires careful consideration of dose and indications due to risks of respiratory depression and sedation depth. Before taking this medicine Before administering midazolam, medical professionals should review a patient's medical history, especially regarding substance abuse, mental health disorders, respiratory illnesses, liver function, and allergies to benzodiazepines. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should avoid midazolam due to potential adverse effects on the fetus or infant. Patients should also disclose all medications they are currently taking, including over-the-counter drugs and herbal supplements, to prevent potential interactions. Side Effects The use of midazolam can lead to various side effects, such as drowsiness, confusion, dizziness, blurred vision, and short-term amnesia. More severe effects may include respiratory depression, especially when administered with other central nervous system depressants. There's also a risk of paradoxical reactions, such as agitation or aggressive behavior, particularly in pediatric or elderly patients. Interactions Midazolam's effectiveness can be significantly affected by interactions with other medications, particularly those that inhibit or induce CYP3A4 enzymes, which are responsible for its metabolism. Drugs such as ketoconazole, erythromycin, and grapefruit juice can increase midazolam levels, while rifampin, St. John's wort, and carbamazepine may decrease its efficacy. Co-administration with opioids increases the risk of serious side effects, including profound sedation, respiratory depression, coma, and death. Dosage The dosage of midazolam must be carefully determined by a healthcare provider based on the procedure, patient age, weight, and overall health status. For adults undergoing a minor procedure, a lower dose may be sufficient, while higher doses might be necessary for more invasive procedures or for use in the ICU setting. Avoid Patients receiving midazolam should avoid operating heavy machinery or driving until the full effects of the drug have worn off. Alcohol and CNS depressants should be avoided as they can enhance the sedative effects and increase the risk of respiratory depression. FAQ Common questions about midazolam involve concerns about its amnesic effects, duration of action, and safety in children and the elderly. While midazolam is effective in reducing memory of painful or uncomfortable procedures, individual responses can vary, and all concerns should be discussed with a healthcare provider. Closing This concludes our overview of midazolam, also known as Verst. This information is intended to educate and should not be used as a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns regarding medical treatments. Thank you for tuning in.